what's up guys we are currently running late for the car boot I just thought I'd check in uh, before we get there um, today I'm hoping to pick up some different items rather than just trainers um, whether or not that happens I don't know but I am going to consciously try to, I'm only going to pick trainers up if they're super clean and they don't need cleaning because otherwise they just get put in a box um, and I won't get around to cleaning them for a while so if they're very clean I'll grab them, if they're not then I think I'm going to try and look on tabletops more and also through clothing rails more so we'll see how that goes and it's taken me less than 10 seconds to get my feet absolutely drenched I thought Crocs were a good idea today, but obviously not. <laughs> How much is the wheelchair? Mate, it's a ten or three. All right. And is this a baby carrier? It is. It yeah. is. Okay. How much is that? Fifteen. Fifteen. Would you take a tenner for it? I knew you were going to try and knock me down. I thought that's why you said 15. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. Yeah, go yeah, on then. I'll take it for a tenner. <laughs> Put it back up. Oh. How much are these? Two quid. Two quid. Two quid. I'll take them. Right, I owe you two quid at the moment. How, how much for those? I owe you two quid already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do four quid for the pair. Yeah, okay. yeah? is that cool? Yeah. Nice one. Doing all right? Yeah, good. Yeah? How's it going? Yeah, pretty good. good stuff, pretty man. good, man. What's your uh, YouTube? Uh, I resell stuff. Oh, yeah. With three yeah, Fs. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a pound change? Uh, yes. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Perfect. How much of the joggers and stuff? Oh, they're all different. All different. Okay. Like the sports ones? Two pound each. Two pound. Okay. Thank you. And the shirt? Two pound. Two. Okay. What about the shoes and stuff down here? 150. They're 150, okay. These are five and they're three. Okay, cool, thank you.
I owe you two quid for the joggers. Okay. Five for these. Yeah. Would you do a pound on them instead of 150? Yeah, so six, eight quid. There you go. Cheers. Thank you. Right, here you go, I'm taking this as well. Cheers, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. How much are your shoes? This one? Yeah. Five pounds. Five. Two pounds. Two. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. How much is your hoodie, please? Hoodie? Yeah, two pounds. And the jumper? That one is seven. Seven, okay. I'll take this for two. You can keep the I don't need it. <laughs> Do you want to get rid of it as well? <laughs> right, there you go. Thanks. Thank you. Excuse me, bro. Oh. Excuse me, mate. How much are your boots? Fiver? Fiver, yeah. Still fiver. Have a look. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to take them. Sorry, bro. That's no, right. I was just, just checking that the zips work because that's always the thing that goes. You taking both of them? Yeah. Oh, that one's ripped. Wow. Right, um, I'm happy to do five on the blue pair. We do four quid on them because they're ripped. Yeah, yeah, is that cool? Yeah, man. Cool. I'll give you nine quid, yeah? And you take the other one. Yeah, yeah. The other or... Has he, has he bought that uh, tripod? How much is it? No, he didn't. Can I see it? Yes, of course, mate. Yeah? How much for this? Is it five? Yes. Yeah, cool. Heading back in, dumped everything in the car. Not really expecting to find anything now, with it being so late in the day. Um, it's now half 11 but we'll see heading back round to see if I can have a little dig have a little rummage see if there's anything people have missed When the wind picks up, we lose stuff. Would you take three quid? Take 350. Let me see if I've got it in change. <laughs> there you go. Um, How much are your lamps? Uh, the bait, that one yeah. is a fiver, and, and that one's two. Okay. You do six quid if I took both? Yeah? yeah? I don't suppose I can ask all you for a bag of some kind. We'll try and get you one, yeah. What is this? 
Is it a helmet? Yeah, it used to be the old No look. way, did that... I thought it was a helmet in it, but that's the actual helmet. What they used to wear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is cool. Brilliant. First I thought it was like a wrestling yeah. sort of thing, but nice. No, I know the brand. Yeah. But, yeah. How much is it? Quid. Quid. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, yeah. There you go, mate. Yeah. Thank you. Bro. Thank you very much. Would you do five on the bag? No. What's the best price on the bag? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, second time around. And it's just gone half 12, and I've still managed to fill another bag. Just pick these up at the end of the day. Night reacts, but they're the uh, DMS X. Pay 10. And I just realized I left my car just in the middle of the road out here. Just hoping that it's all right. Looks all right. Left the hazards on, but. Yeah, we're good. So we're back home and I've decided I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I'm going to do the haul still, but this will just be the highlights. So my favourite things, maybe the highest value things, but not always. Um, just the things I really enjoyed picking up, really. So we'll start down here. And what's amazing is I picked both of these lamps up on my second time around at about 12 o'clock half 11 12 o'clock so they're both laura ashley cat they i paid six quid for the pair um so one is a candlestick and the other is much bigger and it's glass um but yeah you can see both are laura ashley made in the uk so not sure what they're going to be worth but i'd imagine about 60 back for the pair minimum i'll obviously sell them separately and then sticking with the lighting theme picked up both of these flower lights they mount to the wall and they are vintage ikea center of the flower lights up so they're cool then these two which are electronic um water heaters I believe they're both brand new one definitely is brand new the other one may be slightly damaged from storage I'm not sure but these look like they go for around 100 to 150 quid they're very expensive to buy brand new so paid five pound each on them that was a bit of a steal then we have this um, professional tripod now it's a brand you'll have seen me pick up quite a lot before Manfrotto made in Italy but this is a super heavy duty and goes probably like three to five meters tall paid a fiver for it and yeah that should go for 100 quid all day long vintage military backpack which is pretty cool to find it's called the Berghaus Cyclops Rock um, really heavy duty it's got writing all over it from previous owners and things like that but I had to pay a tenner on that, they weren't budging at all. But it should be worth 40 to 50 quid. And military stuff normally sells really fast as well. Then we have this military style uh, baby carrier. Not heard of it or seen it before. Tactical baby gear. Paid up on this as well, it was right at the start of the day. Paid a tenner for it. They wanted 15. I offered a tenner and they took it. But again, looks to be going for around 40 to 50, so can't complain too much. Again, should sell quite quite quickly. I had no idea what this was. I recognised the brand, Sinelli. I knew it was a cycling brand. Turns out this is a vintage helmet. Not a helmet liner. This is the actual helmet. This is what people used to wear, thinking it was to protect their head. Um, I paid a pound on that. I haven't looked at comps properly yet, but 
I think it's going to be worth about 30 plus. Then we have this bag. It's a mini bag, like a mini tote. It's embroidered with Doc Martin boots and stuff. Denim. And yeah, it's a Dr. Martin's mini tote bag. Paid £3.50 on that. Hopefully about 25 to 30 back. And then shoes. So I picked up about six pairs of shoes total. Told myself today that I wasn't going to be looking for shoes because they keep stacking up. I don't like cleaning them. I was pretty picky with what I did pick up. But I did manage to grab Alpine Stars. Two pairs. I paid £4 for the black. £5 for the blue. And they are the Alpine Stars SMX series. And they are Gore-Tex. So I'd imagine about 60-ish back each. Could be a bit more. And then these were my favourite. Some New Balance 9060 in the tan brown colourway. Unfortunately, the heel is completely destroyed on both shoes. But for £2, I couldn't pass them up. They're my size, so I may well start wearing them to the car boots or just keep them for beaters for the winter. Um, but yeah, for £2, the laces alone are worth two quid. So yeah, I wasn't leaving them behind. These sell in good condition, these sell pre owned for around 110 to 150. Onto the clothing, so I've picked out four bits. I did actually fill an IKEA bag of clothing today, but these are the four standouts. So I start with these, paid two pounds each. One is a Adidas Real Madrid. Um, the logo has the badge is worn off a bit, but it's uh 2015, I think 2014. Pink kit, no one on the back. Good men's size, size large. And then we have this Ajax in a 2XL, I believe it is. And this one is from 2015. So, paid two pounds. Hopefully, about 20 quid back for this, 20 to 30 back for this. And then, if you follow me on Instagram, then you'll have seen these already. But I pulled both of these out of a cardboard box that was labelled two for a pound. So the first one is a, I think it's vintage, Pendleton. Made in USA of imported Shetland yarn, striped knit wool jumper. Um, so this cost me 50p. I'd imagine that's about 30 to 50 back. And then this was the absolute banger of the day. Um, and this is a vintage Masoni. If you can see that, the tag's a bit crumpled. Um, cardigan. Women's size 40. Made in Italy. And it is just... It's so, so nice. The pattern, everything that people want from Masoni. It's got everything. And I paid 50p. So... I'm hoping for around 100 back on this. Could be a bit more, could be a bit less, but not bad at all. But yeah, these are the standout bits, the highlights. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you again in the next video.